But first of all, it's time to meet the Freak Boy, Australia's newest Freak Boy. When you see him, do not be alarmed. He means you no harm. <laughs> He's come a really long way to be here, and there's nobody else like him on the entire planet. So please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Australia's newest freak boy, Samora. Make him feel welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Brilliant. When he was born, his mum screamed up a terrible storm. There was thunder and lightning, and when this little bugger was born, he came out upside down, back the front, and tied in a knot. His folks knew from the moment he came out that he was different from them, and they tried as they could to love him. But as soon as he was old enough to walk and talk and feed himself, they gave him a dollar and a poke with a stick and they sent him out on the road. And he survived out there on his wits, using only his God-given talents. One of which looks like this. is one of his talents, but we don't really want to talk about that one too much tonight. Suffice to say that he had to earn his money somehow, okay? <clears throat> An at birth can be a terrible affliction on an innocent child. However, human beings are adaptive by nature, and one must use what one has been given. I will now demonstrate my acute hypermobility for your general amusement. Samora that initially meets the eye, ladies and gentlemen. 
So far you've witnessed the talents with which I was born. I'd now like to show you something that has taken many years of training, many years of self-discipline and self-denial. The ancient and perilous art of sword swallowing. That's right, my friend. Savora is not only incredibly bendy, he is also Australia's newest sword swallower. And tonight, he will perform not one, but two amazing and unique sword swallows. But first of all, would you please pay attention to the safety demonstration? I have here an orange, which represents my heart, which is located here. With expert precision, I will slide and guide the blade down my esophagus, which is here. One small slip to the left, and my heart will look like this. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen the danger inherent in the stunt. Now it's time to watch and be amazed at a master at work. Check this out. Samora, the sword swallow. Samora is going to dispel that myth forever. Ladies and gentlemen, he will now attempt to swallow this. Check it out. It's a sword blade with no handle. To state the preliminary training for sword swallowing as painful is to state that fact quite moderately. For even after stern purpose has triumphed over the laws of anatomy, terrible danger still remains. That's right, that's a quote from Harry Houdini and he knew what he was talking about. Terrible danger still remains. Especially with this stunt, the sword's got no handle. So the danger is that it will drop down the esophagus into the pit of the stomach. It will then hemorrhage the lining. You're really not helping. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please watch and be amazed as we dispel forever the myths that sword swallowing is false. This is Samora. Oh, dude, dude, these might help. Thank you. <laughs> now, what Shed mentioned before, of course, is something that we don't really want to happen. So, we brought along these pliers just to hold the blade a little bit more steady. Thank you. 
Nice one. See you later. That's the first freak of this evening and things are going to start rocky.